What is going on guys? We are back with another episode. Subscriber sets, we're gonna be using this competitive melodic which gets a plus two special attack boost with Z Rain Dance. It got five thumbs ups. So what's the most requested? I'm just gonna load up a game. I will talk about my team when we get a game. And we fix the dimensions. And this boy has some heat. I think I got outheated by this guy. I will talk about yeah all my sets later on. So this guy starts the time on me. Nido King is a threat. I'll just lead up with my scarf and fernate. So this is heat more. I don't know if this guy watches I think this is Envy's team, yeah. This is Envy's team. So this is assault vest. And so I guess we can just go for Stone Edge here. And we just OHK on with a crit. That probably mattered, but I don't think he could have killed me back. So you can go with a Nidu King or Suicune. He has a lot of options, like, yeah. We got Scarf and Furnip to check uh, Zardvai, Volcarona, and have some to outspeed Greninja. We got Celestia to check Greninja and Tapu Lele defensively. We got Rosary to set up Hazards, so they have to defog, and Clef with Rock, so they have to defog, and we will attempt to. I sweep at least one game with Melodic. Mm -mm -mm. So, my play here is either Roserade or the X button. So, pff. I guess I go Roserade. It's probably the Vingoon set, which is disgusting. Um, he should, he might go for Protect here. So, I can go for a Spike on his Protect. But he didn't go for Protect, so that was a misplay on my part. I should have never made that play, I just wanted to like... I just wanted to see, like I just predict them to go for protect basically, which was a misplay on my part. Oh, and I have like no Giga Drain PP, I just realized, because thanks to pressure. So you can, disgusting, so we're gonna get up another spike here, because he's gonna protect here. But this is a problem, because we kinda lose to this. Uh, this should still break the sub, which is amazing though. I just gotta weaken this. Oh, why did he protect? That was so. I could have spiked again. His play mode. I don't agree with his play there. But I guess he outplayed me. And now I don't even break the sub anymore. Disgusting. So I'm a sludge bomb here. And then the next Giga Drain should break the sub. But he might go for protect here. So we can predict that and go for a spike, which was a misplay. <laughs> oh my lord. X. Now my sludge bomb is gonna protect here. Man, this is my team is not prepared for this brokenness, so we can <laughs> Maybe I should put haze on my melodic. No, it doesn't fit, it's just the offensive melodic. And yeah, Fable will comment what it doesn't help me because I would get PP stalled out. He goes for protect. I gotta, f I gotta go for Giga Drain here, but the thing is I'm running out of Giga Drain and then I can't break his sub. And this disgusting Pokemon called Suicune is gonna bop me. So hopefully I can get a poison here, that's my last hope. As we do not get the poison, of course. <laughs> and Skull does a ton. And he does protect and stall me out of my last Giga Drain, so that's an X button. <laughs> I mean, I can revenge this if I can break this up, but I wasn't able to break this up. Oh god, X! Fuck my life! Oh, I lose to this, so I got a U turn out here. Break this up. And the problem is, I gotta go to something that he can't sub set up on, which is. I don't have anything that he can't sub up on, that's the problem. Oh, I just lose this. We take that decently well, but like... <laughs> like, what am I gonna do? I have to crit him, that's like my win con, I don't know. He is max speed, confirmed. And we do get a crit, which is nice. Whew. And we're gonna go for Hydro Vortex here. 
As he tries to substitute when he has no health back, I don't understand why. So we should have now. Oh wait, that did nothing. Holy, f that did nothing. What the fuck? <laughs> that hydro vortex did five. <laughs> it did seven, but like it bounced off the Suicune. And my only way of beating the Suicune is hexing it. But now it's in range from CC. I hope. Well, probably not, because he's gonna protect. Yeah, this is ass. I mean, the Suicune they run a lot of speed, so they don't have a bold nature. They're timid. So maybe this kills. I'm not gonna over predict with a plus six Suicune in my face. This has to kill and it does kill, so phew. <laughs> but yeah, Melodic didn't get to sweep and my team is super weak to this. Which I didn't realize when I built this team, because I was like, I'm more on the low ladder, I'm not gonna face any tryhards. So, what could I change up to make me less weak to win Kun? I don't know. Uh, we get another three Kun. This these kids really are out here and try to. I can't say have fun to this guy. He's just disgusting. Uh, my team looks like a huge team. You guys would probably have realized it by now. Hmm. Yeah, I just lead. I just like to lead over my Scarfas on a low ladder, especially when I don't want to think too long. This is bad. Hmm. He discharge paras me, I'm in a bad position. But I'm yeah, I'ma just gonna Rosa right here because I don't wanna reveal my choice scarf. I mean it's obvious that I'm scarf okay I should have U turned because that would have given me momentum. Like I don't understand this play, why did why did you do that? Is he weakness policy and he wanted to get a boost from Stone Edge? I don't know. But I gotta break his multi scale this is a big threat. Hopefully we can get a poison here. As we don't, and he's gonna sky strike you potentially. So I gotta go to my Celestila. So he just goes for Dranklon, crits me. Ah, oh, X. And gotta lead sheet hoping he doesn't have fire punch. I mean I, I gotta you guys can hear I gotta say I I'm saying I gotta hope way too much. So like this this team is probably not good. <laughs> I just don't know how to build with Melodic and not use the same mods over and over again. Because last, in my last um, subscriber sets episode, I already used uh, Hazard's Greninja with Veil and all that. So I didn't want to use the same strategy over again. Uh, we're gonna go Hard Nape. I think he's that why. Yeah, we should be able to take one hit. Is this gonna do 80 or something? 72. And we're forced to Stone Edge here, I think. I'm not playing around with Zard, why? <laughs> and he does sack it off because we're on a low ladder and these people just think, ah, I don't need my Pokemon. So he's just potentially E speed on this, so I'm not gonna stay in. And we're just gonna lead seed. Gonna, we gotta be really careful that we do almost do the Wing Kun. But we gotta get Melodic to, do, to at least get one or two kills in this episode, man. If I didn't give it the sweep, I would have just lost the first game. Oh, Mark is annoying, man. I do have Earthquake and this to learn Heatran. I don't know if I've talked about that yet. Probably not. So I go for that. He goes in the sweep, no. It's in. Crit at 17. <laughs> uh, this might be max defense if crit only did 17. Um, but yeah, my play is Rose, and if he's Calm Mind, we. Oh, he's Wind Kun, okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna Giga Drain this time. Because these people have shown that they don't like to protect for some reason. I mean, now he's gonna protect. But I just can't risk it. This thing's too, too big of a threat. I don't know why Sylveon is the counter. He might have. Oh, he's just pivoting into Mach. Should have gone for Hazards there. I thought he might have Side Shock or something. He can pursue me here, which is fine. I'm gonna go melodic on a knockoff, but if I got poison, okay, nice he pursuits. So now I can go for for a rain dance, and he gets the poison, which sucks. And I didn't really feel like getting the speed boost because he has priority anyway, so there was no point. So now I can at least use my hydro vortex. 
And it's probably gonna do a good chunk. The Zapdos might actually die. Hopefully. As it does die, so at least Melody gets a kill. Yeah, I kinda, you guys probably, I don't know if you know, but you probably can imagine how it is. Like, I tried to upload daily a lot, but the last two days I think I haven't uploaded. Because some days it's just like, um, it's hard to build a new team for every episode. I mean, I always, obviously record two games a lot, but for this episode it's just hard to build solid teams. That are not the same ones over and over again. That's at least how I feel. So this might just go for protect here. Don't really feel like staying in. I'm gonna go rose right on the protect. He goes for a wish and now I can get a... Oh, he might go on a muck here. So I can double switch here into my... Yeah, I don't have a good double switch, fuck. <laughs> I can double switch into my status deal, I guess. Cause I don't want my rose to die yet. I can also double into Mew and fire off a will wish that's a fine play. Even though he's gonna knock me off and potentially poison me. The problem is he has heal ball on the Sylveon. But yeah, I realized I'm testing that this team is not the best, but I just didn't feel like building a new team because this looked kinda cool. <laughs> Should I just stay in? I mean, I'm gonna get poisoned eventually. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in, it's fine. I'm just gonna get some chip. Dead did nothing. <laughs> so he tries to pursue it, and he does get the poison, of course. So now he can solve ball up. As he's gonna heal ball with his Sylveon. Yo, this is ass, man, this matchup. Mm. We're gonna go Roserade once more, once again. And he does heal the muck. And this time. The muck is burned, so Pursuit doesn't kill me. Oh, he does. He just heal never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna get up a spike for some chip damage. I didn't think he would go hard muck this time. I thought he would wanna go for Wish first. So I'm gonna get Pursuit here, which sucks. I lose my Rosary, but he, he lost his Defogger, so that's fine, unless he's Defog. Dragonite, I'm gonna get some chip every time. We can click uh leech seed here. As he stays in this time. I shot off quick and the guy just stayed in to crit me. Well, good players. I'll leech seed again. He definitely shouldn't stay in here yet. Hopefully we can connect this. I know I've been lacking my first opponent and it sucks, but like I still had to hit that, it was really important. <sighs> Hmm. Just gonna off quick here. I kinda wanna double each seat. Oh man, it's too late now. This probably is fire punch the way he brought it in, but he shouldn't be able to kill me. Oh, he just goes back into Sylveon. So he's stalling on my. Um, oh, he missed. I dodged. He, he dodges. I miss. Oh, he stalled out my lead CPP. I'm just gonna heavy slim here. He might go into Suicune, but he stays in. Yeah, bad play on his part. So I think he's gonna wish present the Suicune here. They protect, that's fine, I'm just gonna have you thumb here. And he gets me there, but Suicune gets worn down thanks to the spike and some chip from the heavy slam. Mm. So he's gonna sub down here. I think I'll just off quick because two off quick should break his sub. Ah, that might have been a misplay. That f wait, Aqua Ring. Oh, I don't want to play this. No, because <laughs> now he gets left these plus Aqua Ring every turn. Oh, X. I don't want to play this. What is this? Ew. So now I have to calm it up. That's like my. I mean, what is his last move called? Gotta call mine to break his sub first. And we're gonna get Moonblast now. And he switches, wait, why? Why did he not set up? I don't understand. I can't do it, KO this. So I go back to Cell's dealer. And I'll just leech seed here. I don't understand what he th was doing there. We're gonna get one more. At least, I'm gonna get one kill. 
I don't know why I'm facing such big teams. I'm not on low ladder, but I'm not that low. Like, we should be mid-1300s. I know it's low, but, like... I told you guys that I will upload the entire climb for the series. Um... So he does have... Galissa Pod. I think Lefebvre is a good lead in this one. If he Z move Dougie with uh, a Squeech, that's annoying because they can trap my Clef. Yeah, I'm just gonna get up my rocks. Turn one. Poison Jab didn't do much, so we can afford to solve ball up here. Fable is pretty nice this game, like I said, and it can potentially win with Coleman later on. See, so does go for liquidation there, and it's a defense drop, which makes me kind of have to switch out here. I kind of have to switch out into my uh, Celestila. So now we can go for Leech Seed. I want to double into Melodic though, predicting his Zapdos, because he wants to defog. And yeah, now we're gonna go for Z Rain Dance, get the speed boost. If he defogs, he's gonna get bobbed. And he does defog and give me the competitive boost. And we will see if Surf can kill this. Oh wait, I have Ice Beam! Oh god, <laughs> I should have caught it. It's fine. <laughs> we just killed the Zap, that was amazing, so his defog is gone. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this episode a bit short, there's probably one more game after this. Depending on how it goes, obviously. So this is gonna get bought by plus to serve in the rain. I actually did nothing. And he has T-Wave and he hits. Oh, I should still outspeed him though, so as long as I don't get paralyzed here. We can kill his Clef Amazing Melodic, putting in that work. I know it's a ladder, but still putting that work. And Dougie is going to be annoying here, so I think we're going to go for Ice Beam Freeze. <laughs> if he's Sash. We Oko him either way if he's not Sash. I don't think he can Oko me. Yeah. And he's Focus Sash. Hopefully we can get a Freeze. <laughs> we don't get it, it's fine. But I got two kills, I'm happy with uh, how that went. And we can just go into Scarven Furnace and click U-turn here. As he goes, go little pod. We can go sell us dealer and click leech seed, or we can go. <laughs> I think sell us dealer is fine. I guess this team is a bit too passive. But yeah, we're gonna double leech seed here. He should not stay here, in my opinion. His cleft died, so his only other magic card used is Alakazam, and Alakazam loses to this. And if he goes into like potential setup mods like Porygon, I definitely want seeds on that. He should suck his Dougie first, Imo. Uh, he stays in. Don't agree with that play, but it worked, so whatever. I'm gonna protect you to get some health. If he switches now, good play. Yeah, he got play me, I guess? I don't know, not really. <laughs> so we're just gonna heavy slam. He might go for rocks here. He goes for Memento. Mm. So he's gonna try to set up now with his Porygon. Oh god. My nape does out speed him afterwards, so I think I'll leech seed him then I'll sack something. Hopefully I connect this. If I miss this I probably lose. As we do hit and now we can uh, go for protect. Get some more chip on this. Gotta sack something else because LSD is too important. Is he discharge? What, do, what are we sacking now? I guess we can sack Roserade. It doesn't do too too much, so we're gonna sack that. Should be able to live one discharge, especially. I don't know. Oh, he crits paras me. Okay. I mean, I hexed the first guy. I can't say anything. Hopefully, he doesn't have recover on this. That would be awful if he has recover. I don't know if I should get damage or try to poison him, but he just picks me off so nice, no recover. Uh, and I don't think Flabbits kills him. If he has recover, I lose to this anyway. But we gotta go for Flabbits to get damage off and it doesn't kill. And he picks me off with a Shadow Ball. And if he has recover now, I'm in big, big trouble. 
But I'm gonna click protect. He, this, the, he showed discharge and shadow ball, so I think his last move was ice beam, but it's recover, so I just got fucked up. So I had to click heavy slam there. Nah, that's so ass. Don't para me, dude. Oof. Okay, that did enough. Wow, Celestina's coming through. So maybe I shouldn't have even switched in the first place. <laughs> Thankfully, we could avoid getting bopped by that. Yeah, this might be Calm Mind, so I don't just want to heavy slam here. I don't want him Calm Minding on my Protect. A substitute, something like that. I didn't want him to go for some sort of setup, and we'll just heavy slam again. I'm not gonna allow him to get up a sub. I'm just gonna spam this. And he just disconnected because there's died and yeah the game was over pretty much unless he like crit through my clef or my mew. And we're gonna grab one last one, hopefully we can go undefeated. I don't know, like these teams these guys have brought look like teams people would use in the 1200s. Okay, this guy is a fun team. This could be Scarf Greninja. Or Scarf Lando. But it's all that, so I don't really know what to expect. Can I only go with Clefable, but if he leads, I would beat roll in the bad position. So I'm gonna lead Infernape. It leads Gren here, that's ass if he's Scarf. I don't know, looking at his team. This should be Scarf because he's weak to Volcarona, but it's a ladder, so I don't trust these guys. So if I switch out here, I lose too much momentum if he goes for like a hazard, if he's like a hazard lead or if he just... Oh, I'll just go Celesteela, uh, yeah, I can't I can't risk this. And he does switch out and my position, yeah, so going for close combat, that wouldn't have helped me. I guess YouTube would have been a fine play. Did the guy timeout in the other game? He did timeout and we are uh, 1357 now. So I'm gonna go Clefable here as it wants all these Mews deal most. The best thing they can do to me is a knockoff. And we can get about rocks here, which is definitely nice. It hits the Zap, does the B drill, and as you guys saw earlier, Melodic can put in some work if you get the special attack boost. Even though it's probably better to like um, chip down the opposing team before I try to um, put in work with Melodic, because and then it can potentially sweep late game. But I just don't have enough breaking power with this team, so doing it early, breaking early is fine. I hope this doesn't have knockoff. He's probably just going to U-turn a knockoff here, depending on his move set. Yeah, he just jabs. I don't agree with that play. So he Feroth on walls me, but he doesn't notice. So mm, I leech it here in case he goes into something that's not Ferrothorn. Yeah, he goes zap does. So hopefully I can connect my leash seed. Nice. And I can either go Melodic and make the same. <laughs> this time I couldn't double into Melodic because of the... Beatrival having a U-turn, obviously. Yeah, I think I keep making that Melodic play. Because it just gets me the most out of the turn. And I don't think this guy will run enough speed on his Zapdos. So I kind of want to go for Hydro Vortex here. Actually, I just go. I just go for Ice Beam. In case he goes Ferrothorn, I get some good damage on that. He stays in and sacks his Zapdos. So this is nice because I didn't waste my Z move yet. Mm, HP five would be amazing now. I was obviously um, on the set which is Z Renin's. Obviously, HP five doesn't make much sense. But in this specific scenario, it would be amazing to have. I don't want to stay in here, but if I switch out, I lose my competitive boost. He's gonna leech seed up power up here, so. I still think my best play is just going into Mew and clicking Will-O-Wisp slash double switching out, predicting his own Mew. I think I just go Mew and click Will-O-Wisp. He just says lead sees. <laughs> if he goes to his own Mew here, this is annoying, but I'll click Will-O-Wisp and I miss. Which sucks and he gets up some hazards, which sucks even more because now I'm getting hazards there. But I gotta hit the Willows on this thing because it's annoying as flip to my team. Maybe he doesn't have power up, so I could have just stayed in with Melodic and bopped him. With um Sir with Duranians into Hydro Vortex, maybe? I don't know. So I go Clef instead of my rocks here. All three layers of spikes, this is not what I wanted. 
I don't get this guy's team. He has all the hazard setting and then he has defogger and his team is so weak to rocks that he has to defog all the time so this guy's team doesn't make any sense but it works in this particular scenario. I'm just gonna make a risky play here and stay in. If I call mine up, he's in a bad position. Oh, he went for knockoff. That sucks, man. I just lost. This guy's bad for not clicking knockoff the first time then. I have to go sell this dealer then. I want to break the U-turn there. But at least I played him, I guess. Click earthquake here. Man, if he, fin if he finds out that my f that the Ferrozone walls this, I'm in a bad position. <laughs> I didn't realize that Ferrozone is so annoying. Dude. Why would you stay in? Wow. This guy's awful. Should have gone for heavy slam. Got all these shit here. Yeah, I thought I had HP fire on my Rosary, but I don't have it. We do connect, this should be Z-move. Um, just Heavy Slam here, actually. Do I? Yeah, Heavy Slam is the correct play. We get some damage off, and I think I can protect here. This potential Z-move. If he has these again, I have to sack something anyway. He goes for Z-move, this is gonna do a ton though. Colonel Cross is going to be like 30. Yeah, 30. Head calc on point. So Stone Edge probably kills me anyways. A plus 2. Celestia is important to wall the B drill, so I'm not going to sack it. Um, my Clef can win late game. I guess Melodic doesn't do much anymore, so I'll sack it. If he's not max speed, I cannot speed him, but he's probably gonna kill me anyway, yeah. So now we're forced into Infernape and click. Uh, Flare Blitz. I'm not trying to have him live a close combat on a low roll or something. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, keeping Clefabon around was really important for this Mew, and Ma Magic Guard is just so nice. Because these headers would be a pain. Like, these headers are a pain for all my other mons. So, if he goes hard Beedrill here, I think my best play is just going for Moonblast. Oh, Beedrill is low, so he shouldn't go hard Beedrill. But just in case he goes hard Beedrill, I'm gonna click Moonblast. If he goes Pharaoh's this is setup for us, so I don't know what he's doing. Um, I'm gonna Moonblast once again in case he tries to pivot into Beedrill. And if he doesn't, I'm gonna start calm mining up. Um, yeah, he tries to pivot into Beaver. Hopefully, this kills. We do pick him off. Amazing. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Whew. So now we can win this game. Greninja might have gunk shot the other way he brings it out. So he's, if he's actually he's gonna pump here, if he's. Uh, Brolin, he should go for gunk shot. So I'm gonna sell his dealer here. As he is Ash, ah, oh, he's life of Ash. This puts me in a really bad position. Ah, this sucks, man. This does the rocks, but maybe I should sack something. No, no, this is fine. I just have to sack this anyway. So he gets his Ash off. I don't think I could have prevented that. I don't agree with his play there going to this. But nah, it was his only play, it was his only play, what am I saying? So I have to hope that Rose Raid can live. <laughs> so I gotta calc real quick. Greninja versus Rose Raid. Um, I'm pretty sure I die. Rose Raid. Custom set. Dark Pulse, yeah, Dark Pulse blows me away. I think I just lose to this. So I probably should have stayed in with Clef, but Clef won me the game, so. Life Orb Dark Pulse to 70 to 83. I don't live that after Hazards. How much does Clef able to? For my Hydro Pump, 72. 72 to 86. So this is a roll in my favor. I just have to pray that, I, that he doesn't get the roll. Uh, otherwise, I lose. This is a roll heavily in my favor though, he has to get Max to kill me, and he misses. 
I'm just gonna post the cog. Thank you guys for watching and he needed a max roll, so I don't think that was heavily in my favor. So thankfully we went on <laughs> like amazing that we went undefeated with this team. Um, but we're not in the 1400s yet. Yeah, this is definitely a team that uh, I wouldn't recommend using in like a tour game. It's really just for fun. It has a lot of flaws. I didn't test it enough, but it's, it's kind of fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to upload this now so I get some content up. Hope you all enjoy and appreciate my effort that I put in. So yeah, I have gotten great feedback on the series in uh, terms of sums up, but it had done, I didn't get that many um, views. So if you like the series, um, leave your sets down below. Uh, like either your sets or just a Pokemon that you want me to build around. You guys know how it works if you watched the first episode where I explain everything or the intro, I mean. And what, what is it? Oh, I forgot something. I wanted to mention something else. Yeah, you can... Stay tuned for World Cup coverage and the next day's World Cup final is going on, World Cup finals. And yeah, I don't really know, I messed up my outro. <laughs> yeah, show your support with a like if you like this uh, series. And we're really close to 1000 subscribers, so it would mean a lot if you guys can like... Help me out. If you're, if you're not subbed yet... So close to 1000 subs, we need like 19. And my goal was to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of World Cup, and World Cup ends in like... Five or six days, so uh, probably won't make it, but it's fine. We are really, we came really close. Unless there's another tiebreaker, then World Cup will go on for a bit longer. But yeah, ulti is starting in like five, six days, so that's gonna be hype. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'm out. And yeah, leave your sets down below in a paste bin, haste bin, or poker paste. And goodbye. And I'll leave the team for uh, in the description if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, if you want to use it in friendlies or something. And uh, peace out.